thank you and good evening everybody my name's Jenny McCormack I am a stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in Brackley a little market town although it is growing rapidly as I was discussing with somebody the other day um, but this is in Northamptonshire in the centre of the UK so let us talk about um, what we're going to do today so all of last week we featured hand pens and as to either of you probably had enough of that <laughs> and needed a break from it even though I did have some other ideas ready to um, use but I thought we'd have a little break from that and have some fun with these party puffins let me just put this here out of the light so it's a really sweet stamp set it is £19 and it's in the new annual catalogue and what I like about this is if you're not a fan of um, colouring then this is a great set for you because there's very little colouring needed for the puffins just literally the beak and the feet in all cases and obviously for this one the party hat so nice and easy to stamp you do need a good black ink pad though I would say so everybody will be pleased to know hi Kim hi Catherine oh hi Carol you'll be pleased to know that I won't be using espresso today because the puffins really do need to be in black as far as I'm concerned so let us get cracking so my plan is actually almost to use this piece across the bottom here as they've got it I hadn't really thought of that but you've got two penguins and a cake in the middle and then a happy birthday above it and then I might put the candles um, on the inside so I'm going to stamp these so I have got them ready on their blocks and I have put the labels on and I'm going to use our memento tuxedo black ink pad I know mine does need a little more inking but I think I'll um, think I'll be okay with it for today so I'm going to start with a piece of basic white and my plan is to um, layer this onto balmy blue but with a um, this is actually mango melody Well, it might be crushed curry sorry um, with a layer behind it and that will then um, mimic the colours that I'm going to be using so that's my plan all being well oh thank you Carol I've left my um, microphone across the room sorry about that I keep forgetting on a Tuesday I do our team um, weekly updates and I'm in front of the computer so then I take the microphone over there and I've forgotten to bring it back thank you Carol for letting me know okay so let us ink these up so I've got the party hat puffin here so this is going to take a fair bit of inking from my um, ink pad. I wonder if this one is better. I can't remember which one it is that's got more ink on it. <laughs> I did test both of them beforehand. We'll find out in a minute. Okay. So I'm just going to pop him here on the left hand side and you can angle him really as you wish. So I'm going to have him angled just a little bit. Now when I thought of this I had in mind to do the birthday cake first 
because then that'll be right in the middle. So I've forgotten that before I even started. Okay, cake in the middle. And this is an outline image, but you don't need to colour much of this in if you don't want to. We're just going to put this in here. And the cake is at quite a jaunty angle on the stamp. So you don't have to have it dead straight for that. <laughs> no, Kim. <laughs> it wasn't your phone, it was me. So there's the party hat. And here is the other um, puffins. So three puffins all together in the stamp set. Angle that out of the way slightly so you've got the three here you've got a little fish wrapped up birthday cake and candles and then you've got five um, nice sentiments that really would work for lots of different occasions but you obviously got a happy birthday make a wish from all of us you're the best and to someone who makes others happy in a nice relaxed style okay so we're gonna pop this one here See if I can work out. The drink pen is better. I meant to put a note on it to say this one definitely needs re-inking. And I just completely forgot. Okay, so let's pop this one here as if he's looking down on the cake. like so and then I'm going to pop a happy birthday across the top now I might because I'm going to use some of this I might stamp it on the yellow and um, either cut it out or die cut it um, let's have a look and see so I'll stamp it and see what it looks like and then I can if I don't like it I can stamp onto the white card itself like so happy birthday okay so nice and easy coloring in so I've got that is definitely mango melody that card so I've got dark mango melody and I've had a look at some of the um, cards in the catalog and they all have this darker outside beak and then a lighter, um, sorry, a dark edge to the beak here, nearer the head and then the lighter beak there. So because this is only a small area, you could easily use Stampin' Light markers if you don't have our blends pens. Okay, so that's those two. Let's do these two here. So I hope everybody's had a good day. It's been um, a busy day for me, but all very productive. Okay, that's that. And let's do the flames of the... candles okay now I'm just going to use a lighter I've got let's go dark daffodil delight so oh I've got this one there we go okay so I've got dark daffodil delight a slightly lighter version going in there and in there and I think I'll do that on his party hat and let's add those in like so Uh, 
I'm sitting here thinking I can hear a dripping sound and um, I've realised it's the clock so I have a clock on my desk which is normally in my lounge and the battery had run out so I just happened to put a new battery in literally just before we went live and I could hear this tap 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 and I was thinking what tap is that that's dripping so close and then I just realised it's the um, the clock itself. <laughs> oh dear. And it's only Tuesday, folks. Only Tuesday. Okay, so let's have this. I've added that in balmy blue. I'm going to leave the rest of the cake with white icing. But just do the little platter here in light balmy blue and I'm also just going to add a little bit of balmy blue around these edges just so that it's not quite a stark white like so go and I'm going to use the blending brush just to blend that in now you don't have to do this at all you can just leave it completely white um, but I think it's nice to have a, just a little bit of shading in there and I'm going to do his or her hat with that balmy blue as well So I'm just going to use our colour lifter and just literally use it around the edge of this puffin. So I'm using on the inside edge here just to soften that edge. And the same thing up here. And do the same across on this side. Again, not really necessary, but I think it just gives that little bit of a softer, a softer look, like so. Okay, um, then I'm just going to ground these penguins. And um, just so they've got a layer below them. Carol, did you manage to sort out for tomorrow, I wonder? So I'm just going to do a little bit of ground here under this penguin. So this one has got, they both got their legs up in the air, so the actual shadow is just sitting underneath where they are stood and this cake would obviously look nice with a bit of wink of Stella so let's just add that in so these are glitter pens I'm actually going to put on here as well like so not sure whether you can see much of that it is um, glistening in the light as I can see it but I'm not sure whether the camera will actually pick that out so let's have a look at the layers and see how this is going to go so here is my mango melody layer so that was what I was thinking which seems to work quite nicely rather than use a black and then I'm going to cut out my happy birthday I think I might stamp it again let's just have a look at that stamp I'm just going to stamp it again further up here so it's got a little bit of a smudge there oh 
Hi, Christine. Oh, no worries, Carol. Nice to have you join us, Christine, for a bit of um, party puffins. So I've just literally stamped those with Memento ink. Done a little bit of colouring in. That's better. And then I've got happy birthday sentiment that I'm going to put on the top. Um, what I might do is add that, cut that out with a tag shape. If I can find my um, pane of tags. Hang on, I've had guys. Just to hand. Obviously you could just cut it out. I love these tag dies. They're 20 pounds for the set and you get eight dies that do the tag shape and then you get these two that do the little um, reinforcers so I'm let's see what will fit it might be too big I don't know so this happy birthday I think this is going to be too short yes and I think this might be the same. Yep. So, my gut feeling is that that is too big um, for that, uh, for the width of the sentiment. It's going to be too chunky on there. So, let's not do that. What I can do is use one of my punches. So let's grab one of those. So we've got this one that does the two styles of um, punch end. And so what I'm going to do is trim this down. And I just need to remind myself what the sizes are I think it's half an inch one inch oh half three quarters and one inch so let's have a look just going to measure that to be on the safe side yep half inch three quarters and one so looking at this I think the half inch will work. Let me just move this out of the way. So I'm just going to trim this down and we'll have a look. was a bit close wasn't it <laughs> okay let's try this one that's better there we go There we are. So there's my happy birthday. So I can um, put it in either of these slots. I think I'm going to put it in this one here. So I'm just going to move it up right to the top. Okay, and that's one end. And do the same with this one. If I think it's too long, I can trim it down and repunch it. I didn't do a very good job with that one. So let's just trim that off a little bit. going to position it in here and bring it back a little bit so that I don't lose too much of the end yes. there we go it's going to do the same on this side so 
so I know I appreciate it's difficult for you to see from there but just popped it up through like that okay so let's have a look so that's my happy birthday on there which I think actually works okay so I'm going to pop that down louder oh I'm right by my microphone hi Tracy is anybody else having trouble hearing me I know I was quiet earlier on that's my microphone was at the other end of the craft room but let me know if it's nice and clear now it's on its loudest setting okay so all I'm going to do for this is to layer it up like so oh thank you Tracy maybe I was mumbling earlier on while I was concentrating Okay, so I'm going to pop that one on there and just grab some glue there we go so this would make a great um, party invitation I think um, oh thanks ladies um, yeah a great party invitation for children wouldn't it um, but I don't think it's necessarily a, ch a child's um, image you know puffins are rather fun creatures for sure okay and that's going to go on to there like that and I think I'm going to add the candles on the inside and just a little bit of bling on there as well oh thanks Christine I think I must have been concentrating and talking quietly so just straightforward layering on there nothing nothing clever I have got Wink of Stella on there and I've got my little happy birthday now I'm not very happy about my final image of that so let's stamp it again on here and see if this is three quarters which it is so I'm going to stamp in the center of this and give it another go I might have been better using the um, stitched rectangle framelits but let us see there we go happy birthday Right, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Oh yes, Puffin Club. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals and add some bling. And then I'm going to grab just a piece of white card and stamp some of those candles across the bottom. So let me just um, do that. some white card let's pop that out of the way so I'm going to cut this to nine and a half 
by 13.85. So for all you ladies who ordered class in a box, I expedited the delivery and that arrived today. So that means I can crack on with all the preparing of your packs and um, the die cutting. So that is excellent. But you know what I'll be doing <laughs> tomorrow afternoon. Um, so I was just thinking to have these just along the bottom and then colour those in. I still haven't worked out which of these is the best one. So these are hollow images. So you can, I'm going to do a start in the middle. So I'm working which one I need to get straight. There, I think. Like so. So you could leave them empty or you could colour them in. As I say, it would make a fun invite, wouldn't it? I'm impressed, Christine, you found your puffin badge. That is very impressive indeed. So I'm just doing this by eye. You could use a stamparatus, of course, to get um, those exactly in line. But I'm happy with those as they are. I have stamped this onto um, thick basic white. So it doesn't stamp as well as onto our standard basic white. So I think what I'm going to do is just a mixture of coloured candles. Um, just using the colours that I have selected. Um, let's do that. So this is Balmy Blue and Mango Melody I'm going to use. Just alternating these. And this is just for the inside, so... Just a little bit of fun. Um, so... There we go. light mango melody alternating so I'm just using that um, set of two colours really I'm not introducing anything else obviously I've got the black for the outline so just to finish it off you could do exactly the same on the envelope as well. So we don't want any naked envelopes. So tomorrow I have got all my um, paper shares in. So I will be showing you all of the papers in the paper shares tomorrow. I will do that at a separate time to my live. Otherwise it makes the... Facebook Live very long, so I will probably do it at 11 and my Facebook Live here will be at 10, UK time of course. Okay, so let me find the rest of this. So there's my um, inside. Now what I might do is actually cut these three um, candles up um, because obviously this takes up quite a lot of space and I would just slice across those so you could refit them back together.
but that way you could have three candles in a line as well you'd have the option and also you could have just one candle on its own if you wanted so I think that's what I will do with that and I have got a plan for tomorrow's coffee and card featuring this and another new um, product so I hope you are able to join me tomorrow morning um, this new product arrived in my parcel today and I haven't I've opened the parcel and sorted out the glass in a box and I put all of my own goodies to one side but I will get this one out ready for our live tomorrow so I hope you're able to join me okay so there's the inside I might put make a wish on there this is the outside and I'm going to add dimensionals to that that's correct oh you've got yours Tracy excellent yes 11 o'clock for my paper share preview 10 o'clock for my Facebook live in the morning um, just showing you something else a bit of fun with the party puffins there we go so just going to put this like so and grab a bit of bling to finish it off so what I'm thinking is I have got a, a, a choice of items, but I have in mind those are from the holiday rhinestones, but so I have the in colours. And I also have the sequins, but I think these in colours, although this is bumblebee, I think it would work perfectly with this. Um, just grab a pair of scissors and pop three of these on here. Um, let's have one. Two. there we go happy birthday and let's put make a wish on the inside I do like the um, style of the sentiments they're really good fun and I have be good and put the labels on this afternoon inking this up I haven't inked any of these up before I'm just going to try that on my notepad and I'll refill both of them tonight <laughs> and then I'll know that they're both done ready for tomorrow's fun and games there we go so make a wish is going to go up high like that there we are make a wish and our um party puffins ready to roll so thank you so much for joining me today so i will be back tomorrow wednesday morning 10 a.m for our facebook live crafting and then 11 a.m to go through the papers from my paper share so my first set of four papers have gone out and so I am opening up the next set of paper shares and the paper shares are £28.50 for a quarter of a pack of all of the main new papers and £3 if you'd like it posted so that's £31.50 and um 
that includes in the main six by 12 inch papers and there's just one set of papers that are six by six okay so thank you for joining me oh that's a shame christine poor poor puffins i wonder if that's the same for the male and the females hmm. okay so you learn something new every day thank you so much for joining me i hope you like that i have been um I have to move my camera around, won't I? Because that's definitely um, further up than I'm used to. So I do apologise if I was out of shot for some of the creating of that. So thanks so much. I will pop a photograph of that card on my Facebook page here and also in our VIP group. Oh, it's just the mail. Thanks, Christine. And I look forward to crafting with you again soon. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed the session this evening. Nice and prompt for a change. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. Look after yourselves. Look after your loved ones. Give them a hug. And I hope you can keep crafting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye for now. <laughs>